one more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. My old friend, it's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. About fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? 
I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, past bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very inhumane side. Mr. Rothwild, Bundry. Don't call me that. Lost to you. You don't know, Ramsay. When he comes for me, he'll kill you. He'll gut you like the street filth you are, and feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, now it comes out. No one is coming. I've broken your strike, and my butchers are the finest fighters in Dunmore. Miss Ames, you're about to find out a few things I learned when I was a gaffer. I can do things that don't even hurt at first. This conversation is going to last a long, long time. You're going to fight me. I can tell. What? Who's uh. Dad, I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It might be useful to you. Considering our mission here. Ready. Someone's sneaking around. What do you want to know that's worth crossing a man like me? I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Joke on your own spit. Keep making noise, you clumsy sock. Putting me to the question? You're not the first to try. You think I can't hear that? Who is Delilah? Ha! Think I'll give up a friend at the first tickle? That's the kind of thing I pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. Please. The killers run off. Torture, huh? Better men than you've tried. <clears throat> you know your work, I'll give you that. We can talk this out, like businessmen. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? And it wasn't me. The previous owner named it after some sweetheart that's a painting. Piss off! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps! All right! He told me the story. Delilah was a woman he knew. Grew up working in Dunwall Tower. Got kicked out, became a painter. Funny airs, like proud. She caught his eye, but it was worse than that. He couldn't think of anything else, just her. She whirled into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her and a lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. Came to me afraid. Man like that, afraid. He wanted to dump the ship and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. And to change the name, we should have done it. I hope that was satisfying. Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing him in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive, of course. Why go through all the trouble, when a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing?
something. Get after it. Gotcha. Thank you. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. This is a reminder that collective bargaining in any country deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These include whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister. I'm still trying to figure out why you let the Empress's bodyguard go. And now Rothwild's snug in a box. What's got into you? Barrister Timsch lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsch family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsch paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old Barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the Barrister's niece, and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. That was gentle. He'll snore for an hour. Talia should be waiting in Trevor's close. It's an alley just past the wall of light. You'll know it by three whitewashed skulls. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. Who are you? 
I understand your curiosity. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessamy when we were girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. I hope that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timpsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. Thank you for coming, Melissa. <sighs> it's been a hard week. And I What's get so terrible. Here? Someone get over here! Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please, come. Uh, Timpsh, it smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timpsh! Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here, this will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timpsh, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this isn't possible! I, I, Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no! This isn't the right document! This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court! It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. Barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. 
Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older, and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Tempshire is ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's... poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I'd held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colbin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Doubt we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men, and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Someone there?
under everything. He's cunning. We'll meet again. When I find you, it's going to be bad. This map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded okay, district. Got away. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Righteous and pure, I do every man's work. Restrict the wandering eyes that look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches a man's fancy. None of this would have gotten so bad. Corvo had killed the Empress. If the word, sir, what's our next move? Capture as many as you can. Their plans Let's are see ruined. What happens if I get another crack at... Give me a report. We'll take the overseer who led the attack and find out what else he knows. As soon as he's conscious. It seems the overseers are marching into the flooded district planning a massive assault against us. This overseer Hume went against orders and attacked early. Our men, the ones you freed, were able to rout the remaining zealots. This place belongs to us again. How did the cursed overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. But I can't go through with it. Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. He deserves better. I was an idiot to listen to you. So that's your choice then, Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment. And take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak. Like I thought. I'm only sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought... Between the three of us... We'd have you dead to rights. We can blame the Zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me, or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone-cold hearts and walk in your skin. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Billy. I give you your life. When Billy Lurk was eight, she wanted to be the captain of a ship. From the moment she met you, all she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine. She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while. Gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire will still know your story. Dowd, killer of an empress. Dowd, who spared his betrayer's life.